This question is based on Boolean algebra. We have been given a Boolean expression f and from the given options we need to determine which of them is or are equivalent to f complement. So first of all let us find out what is f complement and then we shall check all the options one by one. So f is given to us as x plus y plus z that you can say or then ended with x bar plus y y bar plus z. This is our f. So f complement will be this whole thing complemented. So we can simplify this using De Morgan's law that this complement will be distributed on all the three terms and the and will convert into or. So these two are anded with each other, these two are anded with each other. So that will convert into an or operation. So what we get as a result is x plus y plus z the whole complement or with x bar plus y complement and that or with y bar plus z complement. Again, we shall apply De Morgan's law on all the three that will give x bar y bar z bar plus x bar and one more bar because this complement will be distributed over them. So that will just cancel out and we will be left with x x y bar plus of y complement and one more complement. So that will also cancel out giving us y z bar. So this is what we have got f bar as. Let us see if we can further simplify that. What you can do is we can take y bar common from these two. So that will give y bar x plus x bar z bar plus y z bar. Now what we can do is here we have x and x bar. So we can apply distributive law or can be distributed over and. So this will give us x plus x bar and x plus z bar. Now this x and x bar will give us 1. So that is, there is no need to write that. So we can simply go for y bar which we already have outside. That with x plus z bar. And the last term we have is y z bar. Now we can write this as x y bar plus y bar z bar plus y z bar. Now from the last two terms we can again take z bar as common that will give x y bar plus z bar. What will be left is y plus y bar which is also 1. So this is the final value of f bar which we have got. Let us note that down here x y bar plus of z bar. Now we can check all the four options one by one. Let us start with option A. It is given as x bar plus y bar plus z bar ended with x plus y bar ended with y plus z bar. Now we don't have to take its complement. We'll directly check if it is equivalent to this f bar or not. So what we can do is we'll simplify the expression we can multiply the brackets with each other and let us see what the result is. So we can start with these first two brackets that will give x bar ended with x. So it is zero, no need to write that. We'll have x bar y bar plus y bar x plus y bar and y bar. So we can write that only once plus z bar x plus z bar y bar. And the last bracket is added as it is left out y plus z bar. So this gives us the first three terms all are having y bar. Even the last term is having y bar. So we can combine all of them into a single y bar. So we have y bar plus z bar x multiplied with y plus z bar. Now we multiply both the brackets y bar and y will cancel out. So we get y bar z bar plus of x y z bar plus of z bar x. Now again what we can see is there is z bar common in all of them. So we can take that out. Let us write that here. Yeah, we'll, we are taking z bar as common then we'll be left with y bar plus x y plus 
x now as we can see these two terms they are having y and y bar so again distributive law can be applied it will give y bar plus x and y bar plus y which is 1 so there is no need to write that and there is one more x that will also get added to it resulting into the same thing so what we get is y bar z bar plus x z bar that is not matching with the f bar value which we have got so option a is incorrect let us check for the other options as well let's erase this out in this thing and now let us check for the option b if it can give us the same result as f bar or not and this is a msq type question so there can be multiple options which are correct all right so option b is given to us as x y bar plus z bar and as you can see it is already in the simplest form same as the value which we have got for the f bar x y bar plus z bar so there is actually no need to check this this option is directly correct let us now go for the option c this x plus z bar y bar plus z bar so let us expand it out x y bar plus x z bar plus y bar z bar plus z bar the last three terms are all having z bar as common so we can simply write one single z bar and this is again of the same form as f bar so this option c is also correct now then let us check for option d that is given to us as x y bar plus y z bar plus x bar y bar z bar and as you can see this x y bar that is the same term we have here y z bar we are having over here and then x bar y bar z bar is also there and what is this on the left hand side this is the step where we were calculating f complement so all of these values are actually f's complement and finally we had resulted into this step so what is given in option d is an intermediate step which we had further simplified while calculating the value of f complement so definitely this value also represents f complement but not in the very simple form and hence from this we can say that option d also resembles it is also equivalent to rather f complement so b c and d are all correct answers that will be our answer